At Key West 2010, you run into a lot of the notables of the sport. We've got Bora Galari here, who is the Rolex US Yachtsman of the Year. Bora, give us a quick recap of your 2009. Um, the Moss sailing has been spectacular. I started off with the second of the US Nationals, and I followed it up with the Worlds. And those are the bigger guys. Before that, I was in Australia. We got to sail on the West Coast. And Won a couple of regattas there, lost one to Charlie, but um, won some distance races out from Baby Yacht Club in the Midwest and capped it off with the, the Rolex. I, I can't even really get my head around that one. Now, your rise in the, ro your rise in the moth class is uh, you know, part of what I believe helped you win the Rolex. It's, uh, in, in a pretty short period of time, you went from zero to world champion. About how much time was that? I think from when I first got my boat to winning the Worlds was about 26 months. And your position in the class is significant. I mean, you uh, you got involved with a, a group of U.S. sailors, and together you guys all brought your play level of play up. Yes, it was it was very refreshing. Like most of the people that hopped into the Moth class were part of the U.S. sailing team, and a lot of them from the U.S. sailing team's 49er squad. So we were, we were kind of a group of friends and. Every boat ended up turning into two boats, and uh, I mean, a lot of the skippers and crews are out there, and it was it was great being with all the people that for six years of my life I, I spent competing against, and now we were working legitimately as a team to try to get better as a group, and that was just an awesome experience we all did. I, mean, we, I think we ended up with four Americans in the top ten, and there was none the year before, and Obviously, therefore, that there wasn't any Americans. So, now, and and yeah, I mean, not too long ago, there was no class in the U.S. Period. I mean, this is a class that was established in Europe and Australia. And now, what are we? Are we in year two of it having a strong presence in the U.S.? Yeah, I think we're in year two of the international moth class in the U.S. Uh, now, where, where is the growth? How is the growth going to continue in the U.S.? Is there is there hope to keep growing? I think the growth is just going to keep going and hopefully keep accelerating. I, I, you just get such a wide variety of people that sail the boats and they're so fun and easy to sail. Um, as long as someone doesn't mind being a newbie and just kind of learning how to sail the boat, it's everyone enjoys it. I, I've, I've gotten a whole bunch of people that never sail a moth out on the boat this year and I, I, I think every single one of them could probably see themselves owning a boat. Now, uh, you're the current world champion, but the next world championship is coming up pretty quick in Dubai. Tell us about that. Uh, it's coming up in middle of March in Dubai. I'm flying there straight from the Rolex presentation in uh, New York. Um, it's kind of good, I think, at least in, hopefully for my defense, in that it's so close to the last world, so there's not a whole lot of time for people to kind of get something going and practice time. I mean, European, or the Northern Hemisphere has pretty much been winter. Um, and the Southern Hemisphere is just getting going, so I'm pretty hopeful about that. I've put in a lot of time, but one of the things with the moth class, you don't know, there could be there could be a, some kid off in a random corner doing what I do and just sailing 30 miles every single day and just putting in the time and, and come on and spank me, so you never never know. You, you mentioned the Rolex presentation. Now that is in February? Yeah, February 26th, I believe. That's going to be at New York Yacht Club. I've seen photos of that. Uh, everyone's pretty dressed up. It looks like a formal affair and I, I hear something about getting a watch. I guess I do. I, I, I've, I've been getting asked about it a lot. I've, uh, jokingly, I think tonight I'm going to write Rolex on my little Ron Stan clear start so I can s have a smart comment when everyone keeps asking about it. But it looks like it's going to be spectacular. I, I've, I've never been there. And it looks like a beautiful place. So I'm very well, excited. congratulations to your board. Thanks for spending some time with us. Thank you, Craig. All right.